Uh, we had Teague for five dollars. Says, do you think some of the reviews of over praising Avatar are seen as pretentious and turning people off? This happens to me every once in a while. Do I think some of the reviews uh, over praising Avatar are seen as pretentious and turning people off? This happens to me every once in a while. Yeah, I mean, I guess so to a degree. Um, yeah, I mean, so that's actually what we're going to get into now is the review. So the review embargo fully has been le uh, lifted. Um, and so I thought we would just dive into, you know, it a little bit. Um, I don't know whether, you know, the review embargo lifting on a Tuesday before the movie is a good thing or not. I always see that as a pretty bad thing. Um, this close to the release, you know, I mean, it releases Friday. It's not, it's not a great deal of time. Um, obviously, it's not as bad as on the day, which is what some of them do. But Tuesday before the Friday, it's not great. I don't know what you guys think about that. Embargo-wise. Mm. I mean, all we see from the reviews is it looks stupendous. It looks amazing. Mm. We never hear anything about the story. Um. And the one the guy that did say something about the story said it was thin. I mean, Chris yeah. Gore gave it a good review, but he also said it does have issues. You know, right? That's the only one I really paid attention to. I haven't read any of these embargo lists. Well, so Empire Empire have given it five stars, saying James Cameron. This is just the overall synopsis, anyway. Says James Cameron has surfaced with a cosmic marine epic that only he could make. Eccentric, soulful joyous dark and very very blue yes he still leagues ahead of the pack are these blue 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 uh, underwater people mexican as well they might be well they are oppressed <laughs> <laughs> they are trying to steal precious metals from their lands so <sighs> maybe uh what do we find the, the guardian the guardian gave it two stars says, uh, what do we find aside from the high-tech visual superstructure? The floatingly bland plot is like a children's story without the humor. A young adult story, that's a damning comment, without the emotional wound. An action thriller without the hard edge of real excitement. So very much surface. It's all surface, isn't it, right? That's what they're saying there. So... Tight, you know, bland, crap children's story without humor, young adult stuff without any emotional element, uh, you know, a hard action thriller without the hard edge, any risk, any excitement. That's bad, isn't it? That's damning. Is this like uh, that same thing, Mary Band of, <laughs> of misfits kicking ass across the countryside? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit like that, isn't it? Like it's just paper thin. I mean, it's so, so like that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go on. Well, I was just say it's dropped in at uh, 83% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's not, it's not horrendous. You know, I mean, let's take a look and see what they're saying here. Like the original, it's Dances with Wolves in Outer Space, only dumber. That's what the first one was, yeah. Um, CNN says James Cameron has done it again with Avatar The Way of Water. A state-of-the-art exercise? that rekindles the sense of wonder and demands to be seen by anyone with lingering interest in watching movies and theatres. You can't sell me the movie on the technology. It doesn't do it for me, I'm afraid. Cameron and his cronies just expect us to marvel at his technological acumen and forget that filmmakers are supposed to entertain audiences, not expend energy to impress them with their movie-making expertise. I mean, that's savage. Very savage. Um, we get one here. The, again, positive anyway. says the Navi aren't just fighting the good fight this time around. Avatar The Way of Water is about perseverance, loyalty, and the lengths they go to to keep their family safe. So a little bit of story stuff there, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm going to go Thursday night. Oh, he's doing it. Yeah. He's I'm gonna go with Chris Gore is going to see it at 7.15. I'm going to join him. There you go. He's doing it. So I'll, uh, I'll have a, I'll have uh, initial reaction right out of the theater. 
Tommy. And you, you won't be on Thursday. You won't be here to review it, will you? No, it's like at night. So, like, literally, it would be right after we do this uh, show. A couple hours after, while you're uh, while you're shame, doing, man. While you're doing so memes. I'm a, oh, so I'm sleep, sleep, sleeping. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is a negative one. It says Cameron loses track of his characters, snarls his story, squanders his star power. What star power does he have in this movie? Sigourney Who's the big Weaver? stars in this? I guess. I think maybe the the star power of the Soldana, the, the blue people. No, no, the actual you know Navi or whatever. They're... Well, no, he says squanders his star power, so I'm guessing it's actual actors. Uh, and then Dizzy's 3D audiences with so much whiz bang that they might feel attacked in lieu of Ord. Oof. Let's see what our favorite reviewer, Grace Rando, says. Oh, I love you, Grace. No, you know. So, a stunning VFX achievement, which could very well change the movie business yet again. Yeah, just like 3D did. Changed the movie business, didn't it? Put everyone off. Yeah, 20 fucking years ago. More like a theme park experience. Avatar The Way of Water demands to be seen in premium 3D. AKA That's spend right, all your money. That's right, Grace. Get them shekels. Uh, and focusing on Lang's character gives the sequel some much needed edge. Good to see that they're actually focusing on Lang's character, though. Interesting. Uh, a negative says, yes, the film looks spectacular, but so now... So now do David Attenborough's wildlife documentaries. <laughs> the sight of a great white shark launching itself out of the water in Blue Planet 2 is far more awesome and sublime than a CGI fantasy creature. Yeah, get him, Jason. I mean, that's, I'm just kidding. That's pretty savage, in fairness. I hope it's good, but uh, I hmm. see like well, we'll cracks do, we'll, here and there. We'll do another... Do um, yeah. We'll do another positive one. It says Cameron pulls you down so deep and sets you so gently adrift. Sounds like his wet dream, this guy. Uh, that at times you don't feel like you're watching a movie so much as floating in one. All right, mate. Uh, negative one. As a story, the way of water disappoints, even as its visual visuals overwhelm. That's the general vibe I'm getting. Uh, a positive one. It sets the bar even higher for sci-fi epics. The movie's technical achievements and story surpass the first Avatar film. That's not a sh that's the bare minimum. Expect to be immersed in a visually stunning world that has a lot to say about protection of families and the environment. I can't wait like to be lectured Robbie's on the environment. Above, like Robbie's above that. <sighs> Watching the film feels like being waterboarded with turquoise cement. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was going to go to next. That's unbelievable. That's harsh. What? Watching the film feels like being waterboarded with turquoise cement. Fucking hell. One out of five stars. Wow. Uh, this, uh, Daily Mail says the sequel is tremendous, fun, even bigger and better than the original, but by golly, it will test your bladder. <laughs> um, yeah. A negative oh, one from Time it. Magazine. The way of water is the, is the wave of the future rolling in whether you like it or not. Oh. That is a negative. Doesn't one. say anything about the movie. Just yeah. Well, I guess it's like get ready. You, you, yeah. Overwritten when it isn't underwritten. Overwrought, overblown. I'm over it. Okay. I have to say these. Some of these reviews are <laughs> creatively written. Well, mm. probably more entertaining than the actual dialogue. I like the puns. I, I like a good pun when I'm in mm -hmm. my. Uh my review space for these things. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, <clears throat> so that's the initial reviews. I mean, look, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, you know, $150, $175 million domestic opening. That's not great. $525 million global take-home uh, opening weekend. It's not bad. That's not bad. But with the statements of it needing to make over two billion uh, by the end of its, you know, theatrical run to break even. That's not good either. So I don't know any sort of final words um, on 
Avatar before we move on, guys? Um, you're going to go watch I'll, it, so you're, you're sold I'll on that. I'll see it Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Tom will be rewatching probably like RoboCop tomorrow Thursday night or Jaws or Pulp or Fiction. Jaws. RoboCop was Highlander playing on again. TV yesterday, Tom, and I thought of you. Oh, um, thinking that's of what Tom. bros do, man. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, oh. man. 